Hey, good morning, 60, how are you? Um, oh, ooh, I look terrible today. Um, so, one of the great things about being a uh, um, lifelong uh, um, hypochondriac is uh, now that I've, I've turned 60, and I've been a hypochondriac since I was in, a, in 11th grade when our sociology teacher, Mr. Edmonds, decided to teach a course called Thanatology, which is the study of death and dying. And uh, because I wanted to be a psych major in college, uh, it was a college prep course, and, uh, and I took it. Uh, what an idiot, right? So ever since then, I have been dying of one disease or another. Oh, man, is that looking like Oh, it's Lynn. Um, so, so, um, in the towel. Um, <clears throat> I've been dying since uh, 1974, I think, of uh, one disease or another. Um, um, so, so here's the deal. Just when I think that I've exhausted all my resources and every potential disease I could be dying from, all I have to do is turn on cable television and the big pharma, thank you, because you're coming up with diseases that should be striking baby boomers, people my age, um, at any moment I could get it. Uh, pneumococcal uh, um, pneumonia, which never heard of, apparently uh, attacks your cockles, I guess. Oh, and what else? Hep C? Yep, commercials. Yep. Hey, you could be 60 years old and have hepatitis C and not know it, and here's the cure. Uh, what's the other one? So there's Hep C. Oh, shingles? I could have shingles outbreak. Anyway, if you've had smallpox, you carry a virus. There it is. There's my smallpox scar. So I'm going to have shingles probably before lunch. Uh, so that's the great part of being... Um, of being a hypochondriac. Thank you for contributing to my ongoing uh, obsession with dying on a daily basis. Thank you, Pfizer. Um, good, good stuff. Um, okay. Um, um, all right. Uh, everybody have a good day. Peace. Be 60. And no, you're not dying. Okay. Bye.